But here we go. So we're going to have a little fun with this Mega Man X 1 through 3. Uh, for, um, for Mega Man, uh, for Mega Man X3, I'm going to do 100% and Infinite Mystery. So we're going to show off, uh, both, uh, both Mega Man X3s that way. Um, are you, uh, are you ready to get it going? I am? Yes, I am. Alrighty. So let's do it in, uh, three, two, one, go. This is gonna be fun. I, I need I need this after the past couple of weeks. Right. I um I do have all these games on cartridge, but uh, I'm I'm using my uh, I was gonna use my SD Destiny S for all of them, but I kind of I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> we could just we could just blame Dr. Wily for that. Yeah. <laughs> Although, and I don't know how this happened, I haven't seen my X3 cards since, like, last Archie Love. So I don't, mm. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> now, that game definitely might have, considering the price of the card, <laughs> my dad might have grown legs and walked away. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let me know. Uh, let me know how that audio is, chat. Let me know if uh, I am's coming through okay and the game audio is okay. I hope everyone's been enjoying this this great marathon throughout the week, and there's still more more games left. Yeah, we're we're at the home stretch here of this marathon, but uh, yo, it's been so much fun. I, I I love playing games and I love hanging out, and this is like this is like the the best way to do it. The only thing that can make RG Love better, if we had uh, RG Love in person. That would be that'd be way too much fun. Oh yeah. I don't I don't know if the the world or Twitch can handle all of us RGL people in the same space though. That's that's too much power. Nah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost got a car dropped on me. <laughs> Ooh, right over a pit too. Hey. See, so, yeah, we had uh, we had, uh, we had X one through three on um um when I was a kid. But uh, now I just have my X two and X three copies from when I was a kid, and I, I end up buying. Rockman X uh, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. At least, at least X One is very common. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I bought the uh, I bought the um, I bought the Japanese version because it was like ten bucks cheaper, and I was like, I I I've, I've read everything, all the text in X One enough times. I don't I don't need to read it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we know we don't need to hear the speech. Blah blah blah. You need to do this. Blah blah blah. You need to do that. Yeah, sure, <laughs> Doctor Kane. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you save a couple of dollars, then you save a couple of frames. I mean, a couple of frames. Yeah. What is it like? What is it like? Sixteen seconds. If not a bit more, who knows? <laughs> hmm. They're saying a little bit of echo coming back through my mic. Yeah, I think I'm coming yeah. uh, through your mic again. Hmm. Unless I were to turn my overall volume down. Oops. Oh well.
This is Hopefully when I started like you. Uh, Mega Man X is when you get the boots. That's when I finally start really liking this game. <laughs> oh yeah, could you imagine what the series, how far the series would have gotten if there was no, if there were no boots for fast or dashing at all? Yeah, I. Oh. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. it. Doesn't seem nearly as fun. <laughs> I mean, what's next? We we have Rock we have Rockman X doing the slide. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it was like easier for them to animate the dash than it is the slide. Maybe that's why they have a slide. I can see in that. Because he doesn't really change too much when he's sliding. He just kind of like turns sideways. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, man, Mega Man X would look really weird if he was sliding. <laughs> oh yeah. And then imagine having to do that, having to do that for everything, and then making making stages based on uh, using slide mechanics. As long uh, as they kept it to hitting A instead of down and jump, I'd be pretty happy. Having to slide and have wall and have wall climbing mechanics definitely would have been hard. Uh, yeah, I've seen Mega Man Corrupted. I've never played it, but I've seen it. It looks pretty cool. Wasn't that the game that w that wasn't really finished? Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought I thought maybe there's like a demo out or something you could play. But I remember it was a while that, that, that it was like, I was seeing updates for it on YouTube, you know? Oh, it's still not out? Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's what I remember hearing last. Wasn't much to it. Man, this is like a few years ago I saw it too, so. <laughs> if it ever gets completed, if it's only on if it's only on PC, I'm not playing it. Yeah. I think I'll still check it out, but uh, I would definitely be more interested if I could play it on my SD SNES. Exactly. But it looks like by the size of the game it's gonna be really big. So I don't know if it's gonna be playable. I mean, if, if I was thinking if it's to the point where it can't be played on a S2 SNES, then wow. Yeah. Then can they at least try to make it for maybe to put maybe the PlayStation?
Okay. Yo, what's up, I am? Hey, welcome back. Yeah, sorry about that. My internet here has no, no been kind of bad for a little while. It's, but... it's better that it gets sorted out. This happened uh, the other night when we were doing our Tom Sawyer race, so... Hmm. All right. I, I just I just blame Sigma for it for this one. Yeah, the Sigma virus got into my router. All we're right. Not even, we're not even close in adventures to X Fourth Adventure yet. <laughs> And, uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, my, my, the internet here has been kind of not great. It's actually been overall pretty decent for me for the marathon. But um, I, we've had them come out and look at it, and the, and the guy told me from, from Cox, my internet company, he said, yeah, it's not your fault. Like, your line's good. It's something with us, because they've got other calls from my neighborhood with the same issue. And they're like, we'll see if something happens. That was basically, they gave me, like, a, a tough crap, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it kind of stinks. For something, that, for something that bad to affect who knows how many residents in, in, that, in that particular given area. Yeah. The one thing that really stinks is the only internet you can get around here is through them. Mm, so when there's issues like this, yeah, they just, they don't, they don't care. What are you going to do? <laughs> You're going to stop paying them, you know? <laughs> But it has been better. Um, before before RG Love, when I had them come out, uh, it was going down every, like, three hours for, like, 20 minutes. Wow. I could barely get a stream in. <laughs> so it would just, it would just die. <laughs> Unless I was playing something really short. Yo, just get a bottle of NyQuil going, fall asleep outside the car. So uh, what's your what's your favorite of these first three X games? Uh, yeah, easily two for me. Yep, same here. <laughs> I mean, one is a classic, but for some reason I just took the two more. Yeah, I think I like the music in one the most, but yeah, two is two is definitely where it's at for me. I believe the. Well, one major thing I do like about X1 was all of the different changes and stages depending on whether on what you do um, boss-wise. That's oh. an effect I would have liked to have seen in the majority of other games. and But not one specific torture game. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like that. Like the, um, the lava being put out here in like Flame Mammoth State. And I think there's, uh, the water fills up in, uh, Stink Chameleon, right? Yes. And one, I, I didn't even know one was a change until way later, because I always did the stages in the same order. Um, I didn't know about Spark Mandrill being different if you don't, uh, fight, uh, Storm Eagle. I think Spark Mandro would have been would have been a much more I don't know whether to say fun, but it would have been a bit more interesting if it was if it had been completely dark. 
If it lost all power. Oh my. <laughs> Oh man, the Spark Mandrill music is so good. Oh, I went to the wrong stage. Uh oh. Where, where did you go? <laughs> I went to Spark Mandrill because we kept talking Ooh, about it um... before Boomer Kawanger. <laughs> ah, so that, that's that's great now. Unfortunately, that's a revisit. Yeah. You know good thing the uh, the the sub t uh, the hard tank is so or, or the sub tank yeah it's so early in the stage where it's not too bad. This is the order I used to do as a kid. I used to do uh, Penguin, Eagle, Mammoth, and then Spark Mandrill. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, 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 I switched my weapons and I went from Ice right to... I went to switch to uh, Tornado to deal with the big blue guys at the beginning of the stage. And I was like, I didn't pass Cut Blade. And I was like, oh, it's because I didn't go there. <laughs> Oh, hello. I didn't get my dash jump. I almost fell in the pit. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't hate X6. I don't I don't really like X7 though. It's been a while since I played it though to be fair. Maybe at the very least uh, try it on Try, try, um, try, you know, if you want to, try it on the Legacy and not the older, the older version just because of the low times. Oh, yeah, is that, I, I do have, I do for some reason have two copies of Mega Man X7. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I would jokingly say give them to me, but I have more than enough copies. <laughs> <laughs> But I, but I, but I like the game. I remember, um, I feel like, when did X7 come out? Probably around like 2005, something like that. Sounds about right. Cause I was working at, uh, I was working at a McDonald's in high school. It's gotta be around there somewhere. Cause I remember like X7 was one of like the first games I bought with money that I Maybe made from my job. And then I felt really sad. I was like, man, I'm not, I, I make $5 an hour at McDonald's. I don't need to, be, and I bought Mega Man X7 and it's not as good as I want it to be. <laughs> it is, um, it is Uber. It is. But if you would have, but if you would have played a ladder of those two that you mentioned, one specific glitch is, it has been one specific glitch in that ladder game you just mentioned is, is gone. So there's almost no point in playing the game. I did finally play X8 uh, a couple years ago on uh, on emulator. I thought it was a lot better than seven. I didn't I didn't hate it. That's that's good to hear. So maybe maybe in the far in the far in the far future of twenty XX <laughs> when R when RGO is celebrating its um ninety fifth RGL love, we'll be able to have a nice one, nice one through eight relay. <laughs> I like that.
I remember getting X6 uh, for Christmas. Remember that. We had, man, when I was a kid, we had all, like, I had Mega Man 1 through 6, I had Mega Man X 1 through 3, I didn't have 7, I had 8, mm -hmm. I had uh, X 4, 5, and 6, we had all the X games. Oh, I got thrown into this. <laughs> that will never happen, <laughs> Team Murdoch. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent rescue. We might be here for we might be here for two minutes for for two marathons, attempting it just once. <laughs> yeah, right? You gotta choose between Chrono Trigger and X2. Ooh. Those are both really good games. Uh, we, For some reason, even though we were fans of RPGs, my brother was especially, um, um, we didn't have it. The only RPG we had for the Super Nintendo was Mystic Quest. Mm. We we rented um, we rented Chrono Trigger and the Final Fantasies and all that like many times from the rental store, but we never had those ones. But we we were, we were pretty lucky in the games department because we we only got a, you know we get a game on our birthday and a game for Christmas, you know. But uh, my mom, my mom, my mom knew knew it was up, so we always end up getting something good. We didn't really have a lot of like bad games. I unfortunately didn't get gain access to a lot of those games until sometime later. I think all I had was Mega Man Four and Five and X One and Two. At least when initially the instruction booklet for X2 was in color. Oh. I remember we had the, uh, like, the Final Fantasy 1 instruction booklet on the NES was... I remember it being, like, pretty big. I remember looking at it all the time. Yo, the music in Mystic Quest is so good. I kind of like Mystic Quest. It's not my favorite game, but it definitely, uh, I, I definitely like it enough. I've been wanting to play the entire game after that, um, what race was that we had on last year? Oh, the, um, uh, Gauntlet? The RPG yeah. One? Yeah. At least just to have one, at least just to have one, one completed attempt time-wise. And the formula seems easy enough. Just, just keep, just keep, just keep grinding enemies. Yeah. <laughs> just hope and just hope for good RNG. I think the best part about um, best part about Mystic Quest uh, playing it casually, like as long as you just fight all the enemies that are on the screen, they they pretty like it pretty much uh, puts you where you need to be strength wise for for the game, which is nice. Why is this the DOS version? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uber Disco, uh, like, RPGs that you have to grind in, uh, I, I can't do it too well. That's why I like Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger doesn't really have too much grinding in it.
I'm gonna learn how to properly get the heart and sparks with the with the boomerang. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Hmm, how, how far in are you now? Uh, I am in uh, Launch Octopus's state. Ah. Uh. Four twenty AD. <laughs> Is that the Snoop Dogg uh, Chrono Trigger music? Yeah, action RPGs are, are definitely my favorite RPGs. Uh, we would just go uh, the E series. That all those games are super good. So are we all in, in, in chat and everything? Are we all looking forward to uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake? Didn't they do one already? Uh, it, uh, it comes out uh, in April. Hmm. Every time I see a video for it, I'm just like, oh man, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> They just they just showed the intro video like the new intro video a couple days ago and I watched that and I'm just like can I just go to sleep and wake up on April 20th please <laughs> I need to see how how it looks in comparison to the original Oh man it's it's looking pretty <laughs> One thing that kind of bums me out about the release date now, it comes out April 20th, is that what it is? Or April 10th, sorry, April 10th. I was thinking about something different on April 20th. <laughs> uh, but then Trials of Mana comes out on April 24th. So that's mm. like two RPGs in two weeks. That's a little much for me, I think. Yeah, April April tenth is the date for it. That was my bad. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> cog smoked out. Man, that, that's funny because I, I don't even I don't even smoke weed. I don't know why four twenty got stuck in my head. <laughs> 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 I think it was because Team Murdoch said the 420 Chrono Trigger before. <laughs> that's, I think that's why. Um, I, I like Secret of Mana, but uh, I don't think it's aged very well. There are a lot of things in that game that are annoying. Yeah, Timur, yep. Oh, Chronic Trigger, sorry. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. <laughs> chronic Trigger. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> I mean, what's next? Chronic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Uh, 
I uh, I like playing the Secret of Mana Randomizer because they have uh, like good quality of life upgrades. Like you don't have to wait for uh, characters when they get stuck on the side of the screen. That stuff's all good. All right, so now I got to do three revisits instead of just two. I remember one time when I was playing through, I uh, I went to Armadillo stage and I I did the visit a bunch of times. And I was like, how come? Like, why isn't the uh, why isn't the capsule showing up? And then I realized I forgot to go back to Chill Penguin, <laughs> so I had to go back out and do it all over again. Ah, uh, that's always troublesome. Yeah, that was a good video, T Murdoch. Uh, ben Schwartz is super funny, dude, and Supersonic's a really good dude. So it's nice to uh, nice to see that. It's a really funny video. I used to watch uh, Ben Schwartz on a old uh, web series, Jake and Amir, he was on there a lot, and I was, oh uh, man, he's just so funny. Alright, Armadillo revisit time. I didn't even know if you had had a chance to actually continue playing during when during the during what I like to call the the Sigma lockdown. Oh no! I uh, when I saw that my uh, internet was red and OBS disconnected, I just went out and reset the router and talked to my mom for a little bit while I was waiting for it to turn back on. <laughs> okay, that's good because the port, the long pour that I did worked in favor. to make coffee or something because I can smell that coffee coming from the living room. It smells really good. <laughs> might think you might need some of that as a as a sub tank. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do have an energy tank uh, mug. Speaking of coffee mugs, check out our merch store. I saw Weapon picked one up, and I saw a picture of it. It looks really cool. Weapon got himself a Lava Chan coffee mug, and it is the coolest thing ever, and I really want one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I like it. Yep, we're doing uh, we're doing hundred percent for this one. Uh, the layout says any percent, but we're kind of we're, we're me and if it a mystery. Uh, we play by our own rule. We don't we don't follow the rule. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, any percent with barely any any percent or low is very scary. Yeah. I don't think I've ever beat um, X3 any percent. Hmm. 
if you don't mind going out of your way like I do for a few help, help, uh, help um, upgrades and, and some power-ups, it's not too bad, but yeah, I can't get used to the game enough for 100%. Mainly, I, th I think I mainly blame Triple M for it. <laughs> the, the one thing I like about X3, uh, probably my favorite thing, is the, uh, uh, the fight against Crush Crawfish. A little glitch to one-shot him. Hmm. I've seen people do that, but I'm never sure how. how yeah, that works. I, I, uh, I I don't know exactly how it works, but I just watched people do it. And it was like, I just tried to copy what they did, and it worked. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Uh, X3 has gold armor and uh, Zero's saber, but you don't need 100% for Zero's saber. Thankfully. Oh, what did I just do? I just, I just bit it in uh, the first Sigma stick. I think even with the outage in hold, we'll probably be right back up to speed once X3 shows up for the categories. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd imagine I think you I think you do a hundred percent in less time than I do any percent. Uh it's been a while since I played X3. But I think usually like fifty-five minutes ish. For 100%? Yeah. Oh, yikes. Never mind. <laughs> That's much faster than I was thinking. Hey, I did the, uh... I did the vile deal. Oh, now we get that scary zero face that gets stuck on the screen. He looks like he, uh, is in Mortal Kombat, like he's Scorpion. Rest, rest in peace, Zero, until the next game. Four, Zero. Um, actually, Uber, that's... I, I won't be playing... I'm not. I'm actually not playing X4. That would be. Let's see, who's playing X4? Oh, uh, Kavik's playing X4. Kavik. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's playing on on hardware. I had a hard time there. I was trying to get help doing the climb, and it didn't work. I believe he'll be playing on the Saturn um, Uber. Uh, 
right. I can only hope for X4, the scene will show. Yeah, yeah, we did a donation incentive for that, and that got met really quickly. <laughs> That's good. You can't because you because you can't have X4 without the scene. And speaking of donations, let's see how what's the how are we towards the Super Mario uh, Warpless uh, incentive? Let's take a look. I think I think we're still quite a ways off, unfortunately. Yeah, we need about a little over five hundred dollars left for that warpless, uh, that warpless race or relay. So, if you want to see a much longer, a much greater, longer relay, donate now. Yeah, it's gonna be Mario. Uh, one, two, three, and Super Mario World, and uh, either Warpless or any percent. So everybody knows that the uh, Warpless is way better than any percent in Mario Bros. Indeed. Uh, I'm not playing Mega Man 5. X, why are you giving me all of these drops? <laughs> and of okay, course, Sigma, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in your fort. Don't send the police after me. <laughs> Uh, and, and of course, if you all are wondering, this marathon is benefiting uh, our team, RGL. This is our fundraiser for the year. Uh, we put on a lot of cool events uh, for y'all. We put on this uh, retrothon coming up in April, an eight-day-long speedrun marathon uh, featuring all retro games. Uh, we have our one-night-only tournaments that we do. Uh, so many different other events we do, and, and ones that go with the community and whatnot. Uh, and that's that's what we're raising money here for is to help us out with these servers that we use uh, so we can get this to you without lots of cuts or anything like that and uh, money for equipment and everything because we we got a we got a computer at somebody's house just running right now with the stream up 24 7 that we can all connect to so we just we got a lot of stuff going on with it oh we got a blue eye baby that gets a hadoken Sure, Team Murdoch, sure. If this if the cutscene was actually this is probably the closest you'll see to that cutscene. Alrighty, Rangda Bangda. More like Rangda Edom. Five zero, rest in peace. Oh, I hope I can get this. The uh, armadillo skip. Been a while. Scary. You don't want to risk a soft lock. Oh, I didn't get it. Sorry, y'all. I wanted to do it for you. Now playing this, I don't know. I'm at, I'm 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 really missing um, Maverick Hunter X. Yeah, that was really fun. Although the way uh, 
He had to say the weapon every time he shot it. Yeah. Shotgun ice! Shotgun ice! Oh my goodness, chill out! <laughs> <laughs> But that, that was really fun. I, I liked that way more than I liked uh, Powered Up. <laughs> the worst part of Power Up, I mean, Power Up is fun, but you, you have to challenge yourself to make it interesting. Although I wouldn't recommend choosing Roll for everything. <laughs> Uh, that's uh that's an error on the layout. We are we're doing a hundred percent for X one, a hundred percent for X two, and uh we're doing both any percent and hundred percent for uh, X three. Although it should be noted, your one hundred percent will easily eclipse any in time in time. Ah, that's a lot of spiders. Ooh. I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later. I definitely did not want to use the tank. Oh. No, I, I've never done that before. <laughs> what happened? I, 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 I just, I shot the Hadouken way early and I shot it underneath the uh, octopus. <laughs> and it still worked? No, I just missed and I got hit by his missile. <laughs> ah. Nice. They were gonna get a decent Hadouken on the D-Rex. Oh. oh. I, I always forget you have to hit B to go into the uh, stages, not start. Oh, no worries about that poor. They they just want to write they want to write me a ticket for how slow I'm going. <laughs> That's all.
One, GG. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully X2 start. Hey, it started right away. <laughs> Alright, this is definitely my favorite of the bunch. I love this game. Well, I love all of them. Definitely. Oh, this game's so good. Hopefully, a violin will be nice to you. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't fought those guys since I think last RG Love. Where there were there was a marathon that we did 100% X2, and I can't remember which one it was though. Green biker. <laughs> His story will never be told. <laughs> but then again, if his story was told, does that mean we would have a next game revolved on nothing but um Bike stages? Ooh. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. we need. We need a racing game starring the green biker dude. That could work. Introducing Mega Man X Biker Extreme starring your favorite bi uh, green biker dude and all those other title characters that people don't particularly play, but you know, like X and Zero, and even Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can see that as a, I can see that for some reason. War Crimes and Chase, okay, <laughs> that, that title I actually like better. That works. Although we, we would have to have quite the story mode for why the war crimes exist. <laughs> oh my. And what does Viken have to do to save it? many times. Missed a bunch of dash shots on him too. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. That was just a bad fight. <laughs> Dude, 
here we go. Wheel Gator time. Go Gators. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Go Gators. It's a good thing that weapon fired before I dashed. It was the wrong one. Hey, good afternoon, Mad Mega. What's up, Mad Mega? I had such a hard time as a kid getting this heart tank in Wheel Gator stage. And now that I know you can just damage boots, shot off the little tank enemy, and get it so easily, it makes me feel silly. Because <laughs> I had such a hard time as a kid. It's so it's so easy to miss that bad. Yeah. Even with the chain. See if I can do this uh, gator fight okay. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know if I have the timing down anymore. Hmm, <laughs> that's a lot less sub tanks than I was hoping for. for the sub tanks. I at least want three for Sigma. Oh! I left Wheel Gator at one HP. Ooh. <laughs> Smitty, you better watch it. That's something everybody can agree on. No matter what teams you love and what teams you hate, everybody hates the Boston Red. Yeah, and the Astros. Yo, is <laughs> is Al, is Jose Altuve the most hit player next season in the MLB? I feel like everybody wants to hit the Astros, like every pitcher. Alright, that's quite enough there, Dr. Mutilated. There's like a pitcher suing the, the Astros for like Rooney's career. Yo, 
Yo, GG, I'm finishing X1. I didn't realize how much damage Island was doing and he bodied me. That, that, ten, that, ten minute, that 10 minute wait that I did just, just, didn't, just didn't help. Yo, shouts out to the Padres. Hopefully Violin didn't give you too much trouble for the for the zero part. Well, he got me the first fight. By the time you see surges and that and that job, here a bit slightly easier. Yeah, and having to fight violent like Buster is kind of rough. <laughs> yeah. But we got him that second time. That wasn't too. First try. Oh, but I crashed the bike, didn't I? Ah, uh, I was just getting <laughs> me to play that. <laughs> the ride chaser. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised. Usually I don't make it up to the, uh, like, I don't make it past the first section without crashing before I get up there, you know? So I had to go back and get a second bike and do it again, but they don't make it there, which was nice. Now I just gotta worry about my lives. Yo, Rose got a World Series a few years ago, right? Was that 2016? No, that's 2016, wasn't it? Oh, it was 2016. Okay. Oh, 2015? Yeah, that sounds right. I know it's 20. It's 20 something. 2016. Oops, I accidentally stopped the timer. Do that. World Series. Oh, no, that was Cubs and Indians. God, I wanted the Indians to win that. forget about the weather effects that I like so much in in Wires Fun Stage. Yeah. Yo, Eric Hosmer seems like a cool dude to just like grab a beer and just like freaking bro out with. That's me knowing nothing about Eric Hosmer except for like just looking at the dude. Fighting Buck Show Walters. <laughs> oh boy, that name. Like, yeah, dude, I just want to chill out, grab a few beers, play some cornhole, you know? <laughs> you mean the, um, 
Glaber, early retirement for Gary Thorne. For a, Glaber, you know what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to make a damn joke. No, it's fun. I think everybody, for the most part, I know is mostly just uh, shooting shit with each other when it comes to sports. Except for the Astros right now, just because they're damn cheaters. I don't, I don't got no love for Astros right now. <laughs> okay, second try capsule's not too bad. Chris Davis is an inspiration. <laughs> Yo, amen to that enemy. Yo, who do the Astros play first? Because I feel like whatever team plays the Astros first, you start with an opener. Get someone in there that just throws nasty heat, and they're just going to start throw straight at, straight at the batter until they get thrown out. I don't, I don't think anybody in baseball is a fan of the Astros. And you know what? If you're a fan of the Astros still, then you stink. Yo, I, I saw a little. I, I saw a little XFL. I saw we had a heel turn uh, in the game last week or this weekend. Have you had any luck, Kong, um, beating Will Gator with just a chain? Um, I, I, before I, I've never, I've never full chained him like all the way down in one time. But um, I, I used to be able to get like five in a row. Hmm. Yeah, I think I was lucky if I if I could even manage two or three, but the times just seem so strict. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. Like once once you know where it is, it's not too too bad, but um, it it it, it still feels really. It feels like you got to do it way earlier than you actually do. down those those sigma hunting sirens <laughs> I 
I just realized too when I was just talking about uh, the XFL there, and I said, "Oh yeah, something last week or this weekend." I forgot it was Sunday. Or is it Sat? What's today? I think it's Sunday. <laughs> I forgot what day it was. <laughs> RG Love has kind of just consumed this uh, time, like Enemy was saying. But that's a good thing. Yeah, it's it always fun. It is. Oh, it is always fun. As I tried to say. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that uh, the XFL game I think I was talking about was yesterday. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was like in the middle of the week or something. <laughs> Could you imagine the audience it would get? <laughs> Ouch. Cooler, it ain't far off. I'm pretty sure RGL is like collectively just going to take like a two-day nap. After uh, after the marathon ends tonight, Yes, Retrothon is open to community submissions, and submissions are open till uh, the 23rd. Hmm. I wonder if I have a game I could submit for this year's. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I have to work on that after uh, RG Love. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hook for SNES, and I'm thinking the Last Ninja for NES. I learned that. Oh no. <laughs> I learned that for our fantasy football league. Yeah, we came up with an idea. Whoever whoever won the season got to pick a game that everybody had to speed run. And whoever had the best times in the uh, in the league got like the higher picks. It was a kind of fun way to mix fantasy football and speed running together. And I, I ended up getting a I think I got like an eight fifty something. But I missed a good like run. I lost it right at the end. I would have got like an 8:42. People, this is kind of decent time in that game. You mean eight hours and 50 something, <laughs> minutes, right? I, from what I from what I remember, that game. So. I I didn't think I would have a, as much fun as I had playing that game. So yeah, 854, but I would have had an 842. I can't even imagine minutes. Hours is already <laughs> possible. Oh no, I can't do 100%. Oh, what happened? <sighs> Surgis was in my stage, and I forgot to go fight him. So uh, now he's gone. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> well, that just mean it'll be another any at one hundred percent. That's all. I, so, I, the, so the chat still wins, and they'll get to see the best of both of both worlds. I, I did fight um, Violin and uh, Agile too, but I just it's yeah, ninety nine percent, close enough. Yeah, I already, that's what it is. It's ninety nine percent. Uh. Think of it this way, we get to see prototype Black Zero. Yeah, oh, I love I love that. I love that they added the code for that in like X4 and X5 and all that. Yeah, hey, I'm look, sorry about that, folks. Oh, I, uh... Select the code and you can pick Black Zero, which does almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I haven't done... 
I have I haven't fought these boss like since I when I was a kid I used to always get all the zero parts. But like since I've been an adult, I think I've done it like one time. <laughs> We'll think of it this way, Concakes. 100, 100, any, 100, 100, any. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just thank the chat again for the donation for the any versus 100 incentive. <laughs> it, even though it was a hidden donation incentive. And speaking of donations, we still have that great, that great Mario relay coming up later on. Get those donations in for the Warpless Incentive for all four games. Yeah, but you definitely want to see Warpless opposed to uh, any person. Man, you know, I was looking forward to not having to fight Zero, too, because it's been a while, and I, I, I think I'm going to mess up hitting him with the <laughs> Shoryuken. <laughs> so I was kind of looking forward to having all the <laughs> all the parts. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get the you'll get the legendary fist bump. Actually, yeah, that's right. You have to fight Zero. I'll, I'll get to see Prototype Zero. Which stages was Surges in when that, um, that you ended up finishing the stage instead? Oh, um, uh, it was Morph Moth. Ah, yeah, that, that one's understandable. So easy to o overlook where that entrance is. Yeah, I just completely forgot about it. And then I go to the, I go to the title screen, I see him teleport away, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Fighting Agile's first form is so fun. I don't know what, what they did to him for the second. Yeah, I don't know how he just became, like, a head inside of a cylinder. Like, that, does, that doesn't make any sense to me. I wonder if that was one of the earliest Sigma virus issues. I personally would have liked the second, the second Agile fight the way he was the first time. Yeah. I think some something could have done that would have been cool. Like maybe, uh, maybe an X three or X four, fighting him like with zero. Two of them like sword fighters going at it, you know. Thank you, Anonymous, for the ten dollar for the ten dollar donation. Oh yeah, we got ten dollars from Anonymous. For Hydlide, so Hydlide and Final Fantasy are now even on the board. Uh oh. Oh. And Mad Mega, uh, twenty-five dollars oh, towards the uh, towards the Warpless relay. So, folks at home, Hydlide is now tied with Final Fantasy for the finale. So, if you do not want to see Hydlide, make sure you get in some <laughs> donations for Final Fantasy. This is, uh, 
This is not a joke. If I'd like wins, we will really cut the finale down by four hours for I'd like. <laughs> I know some of you out there may be saying they wouldn't really play Hide Live instead of Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> hey, don't test me, chat. <laughs> Salak donated two dollars and fifty cents towards Hydlide. Said chaos. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. This is going to be quite the donation award for those two. <laughs> I see you in chat. I see you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As of right now, chat, all of our fears have become a reality. Idlight is winning. Fortunately for me, I'm not the one who has to play high five, so that's on Toad. Thank you, Creep in Death. <laughs> yeah, Creep in Death donated two dollars and fifty-one cents and said no. <laughs> Uh, that's funny.
Let's see, you're starting the X Hunter stage about, right? Uh, yeah, I'm fighting uh, Surges 2 right now. Oh, you're you're really gonna be way below the estimate. Final Fantasy is winning by one cent. Wow. <laughs> I tried to do a neon and I missed it. I'll never understand why they let Surge's cake hit, hit you in the, in the first fight. Oh, can it hit you the one he throws off? Yep. Huh. That's pretty it's cool. way in the corner, but if you don't move, it actually count as a hit. I just dashed into the spikes. What the heck did I just do? Sure, you can time here. Okay, there's, there's all three pieces. I'm not sure what Dr. Kane was thinking when when he thought to when or at least what Mega Man X's internal systems was thinking when they decided to give him that bu that bubble shield. <laughs> Yo, if Final Fantasy won the winner, yeah, I'll definitely hang out. At least for a bit, if Total have me. Our very first RG Love. Um, our very first RG Love, uh, Toad and I hung out and did 
Final Fantasy One. And uh, but that was a that was a, or sorry that was the NES Classic Marathon. Um. But yeah, we hung out and and that was before Toad was speed running Final Fantasy One. Speaking of NES Classic Editions, those are pretty cool marathons that we did on RGL. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. I think that one. I think that one. That one cent lead is going to be hard to pop. So I'm, I messed up the Shoryuken on uh, Wire Sponge, but killing Wire Sponge with his weakness is so cool. His body just splits in half. Pretty violent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just got an anonymous $2.50 donation towards Mario Relay. It said, War. War never changes. So does that mean eventually Bowser will win one day? Uh, yeah, you can only uppercut with full health, yep. Hmm? Oh, somebody in his chat was asking if you can only uppercut with full health. Uh. Yeah, uppercut and Hadouken in the first game, you can only do with full health. I guess I'll make this a full 100% and let the scanner and... Oh. and three times. Dang, I can't remember last time I seen that chicken get powered up like that. Oh, you'll get to see it now. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, I used to get hit by the scanner all the time. <laughs> I, always, I always did like the change that they made. He goes that green, red, and blue, right? Are those the colors? Yeah. Yeah, I like that red and green. That looks cool. Oh, no, it's purple? Oh, that's awesome. And it's not even taking advantage of the shield. Never mind. I say that and it does it. Oh, it has a shield? Mm-hmm. What? That is the first time I've ever seen it. Yep, only in that only in that third phase. Now even though this is one hundred percent, I'm definitely not going to let the centipede grab me with the tail because that's just going to make the fight much <laughs> Maybe when it gets down to 
for one health. I could tolerate it then. Toad, I don't know how long you've uh, you've been hanging out, but uh, just in case you're wondering, Final Fantasy is winning by one cent. Okay, he's at three health. I'll 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 let the sympathy tail grab me now. Each time the tail each time the tail grabs you, it take it takes away something. The first time you can no longer charge shot. The second time, I believe it affects your wall. But after. After it, after it grabs you four times, you're affected for everything. Charge shots, you can't scale the walls fast, you can't dash, and your color is faded. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I only knew the first one where you couldn't charge. Oh, yeah, look at that dash. Oh, that's so, that's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're climbing the wall. <laughs> I had I had this case that. I am learning so many new things about Mega Man X2 right now. <laughs> I honestly wish they had, had more more effects like that in a lot of the games. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like a boss that like kind of messes with your abilities. All right, I'm going to the crab stage because I don't have any sub tanks <laughs> and I'm afraid of zero. Well, to everyone watching, that was, with the exception of seeing Black Zero yet, which has yet to show up, that will, that's everything you can, I think that's pretty much everything you can literally see and do extra in X2 that you normally wouldn't see. Oops. And that dash jump still gives me trouble. Oh, yeah, the one of the heart tank? Yeah. I always forget whether I need to press the jump button more during the day. Yep, that's it. What's that cool ass case? Sounds sounds like sounds like you sounds like um a donation center for a never for a never eBay. <laughs> we'll do the Mega Man Game Boy games and the Game Gear Mega Man Five for. Mmm. <laughs> Give me time to practice for the, for that one, but I'll do it. <laughs> I, I can do Mega Man 5 Game Gear. Oh, alright. They better sure you can zero, which. <laughs> Whew. Hopefully, maybe you'll get a chance to go for the. You'll get a chance to try for the fist bump. Yeah, I was a little far away for the fist bump. Ah. Uh... Wolverine Sigma time. Oh. Oh, 
Wow, that's pretty fair. That, that, that's a, that was a very generous estimate. I don't think we need him that much. Yeah, I think my, I think my, I haven't played him in a while, but I think my PB for the three of them was like two hours and like 40 minutes, maybe? Doing 100%, then any percent, then 100%. This crystal snail actually does take a small amount of damage when he hits the wall if you get it from his shell. Yeah, that's really cool. GG Fax 2 Kong. Thank you, thank you. This is, I feel like X3 is probably like the hardest of uh, all the X games on the uh, Super Nintendo. Agreed. Oh, I do like this intro stage music. I'm still not fond of the AI in X3 and I probably never will be. <laughs> Especially after how how great the first two games were. Mm -hmm. it, for me, it just seemed like a letdown. So I don't think I've ever played this on SD Destiny S, but it feels... There's certain parts that seem like it's lagging a little bit. I don't notice the difference between that and and the card itself, honestly. But I have to. I, it's been quite a long time. Yeah, it's been a while since I played X3, so I'm wondering if maybe it's just me. Uh, not remember how that leg it was. But I'm also used to playing on end of the the collection. Oh so right, the, right. Yeah. At least when Triple M is around. Oops. Uh, X, you went just a bit too far. Take two. Yeah, Zero Theme's really good, too. Oh, man. This game's really solid. <laughs> I really like this game. Man, I love all these games. Zero Saber. Uh, it's something else. Yeah. <laughs> This is where uh, Cooler's Cooler's favorite clip of me came from. The Fosh Fosh whatever I said when I was getting all angry trying to use the Z saber and it wouldn't work. Yeah, first four X games are really good.
I also like the X games where they uh, ride uh, bicycles and skateboards. Goodbye, Lane. And this is definitely not an upgrade in time. Oh, I'm just gonna have two Yoku two Yoku blocks that I spawn. <laughs> Does that really help? That, that, that doesn't help that doesn't help you versus X. If anything, that helps X versus you. Yeah. <laughs> X8 is not bad. It, it, it's an improvement from X7, but I don't know if that's really saying too much, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh. What did I say in that clip even, Polyhead? <laughs> yeah, X3's music's really good. X3 has the only Guns N' Roses song I like. I think X3 could have been better with at least the boss. Uh, the music. <laughs> yep, that's what it was, Polly. I thought that's what it would be. <laughs> It's at um, the way you say it the second time. Ooh. Seems so weird that. Well, I guess it shouldn't, even though it's a, even though for some reason being pushed back into it, so it counts as a hurt box against um, Surge's. Um, I don't know what to call that machine. Oh yeah, that yeah. <laughs> No thanks, uh, Gene. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. No thanks. <laughs> Mega Man X without the dash sounds not fun. Oh, I always forget that you can skip through the menu, or skip through the boss intros in X3. Thank goodness. That's the lizard buffalo music. Man, it's so good. I'm so 
surprised I've been this low on lives for the majority of the game. Yo, I could go for a deep lizard right now. It's been a while for that thing. I saw a McDonald's. They got the Shamrock milkshake back. Oh, I want one of those too. <laughs> I forgot those existed. <laughs> I don't think I've had one since like back when I worked there. Sounds really good, failure. <laughs> Donate now to buy Kaga Shamrock shit. <laughs> Enemy. <laughs> well, this boss fight should be free if I do it right. Oh, I. <laughs> oh no! I tried to jump over Blizzard Buffalo and I landed on him and died. <laughs> Quite a while, the Shurukin didn't want to come out. Oh. Uh. Yo, Hobgoblin, please. <laughs> oh. It's like a mint, it's like a mint milkshake. Now let's hope the Shurukens actually come out with render reef fights. <laughs> there, you know what? We've been talking about this now. There is, there's like a 99% chance I'm going to get a milkshake after we're done with this race. <laughs> <laughs> Neon Tiger music, let's go. I don't even like Guns N' Roses in my life. I bet she was in there.
I know I just pissed off Toad saying I don't like Guns N' Roses though, so I'm sorry, Toad. Uh, at least the good thing is we won't have to deal with a certain game with those with those those names. Yeah, yeah, we don't do uh, no uh, Duff McWhalen. <laughs> What a boss name. <laughs> it, it, it sounds so much like a Simpsons character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wendy's is doing breakfast? That should be alright. Me and, uh, me and Infinite Mystery met a, 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 an interesting person at EGDQ when, when Infinite Mystery was coming back from Wendy's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you tell the story, though. <laughs> I, think we, I think we'll probably just leave it at that. <laughs> that was, uh... It was something else, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, oh, yeah, that, yeah, let's meet you. Hey, we got bite or bit? We got bit in Neon Tiger Days. That's my favorite place. Thank you, Toad Fan, for that 249 towards Final Fantasy. Oh, so now Final Fantasy's got a a full two dollar and fifty cent lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ant hole. How dare you, Ant hole? <laughs> Duff McWhalen's music wishes it could be. <laughs> oh man. Dang, I didn't I didn't fully read that Wendy's comment there, but that sounds good. Iced coffee with frosty in it? Mm. Oh my. <laughs> That's that is very true, uh, Mad Mega. <laughs> What's his real name? Tidal Whale. Tidal Whale or something? <laughs> I forget. This one's Tidal Whale. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play the to look up the names for the. I know they again. gave him. I know they gave him the regular names in the Legacy Collection, right? Did they? I, I haven't even looked yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they fixed all the they 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 took out the Guns and Roses name and names for the uh, Legacy Club. The only the only reason I the only reason I bought the physical um, Rockman collection for Legacy was just because of Seven and because it was a physical copy. I was honestly worried that playing five or five or six was might have been might have been input lag. Yeah. yeah. Whereas there's no such issues with the two games after that.
but the feature that they introduced in no matter which game you played was was nice. Although you were only limited to two to three weapons, two weapons. What what uh what feature did they add? Um, where you, where you can fight two Mavericks at the same time. Oh really? Mhm. Mm oh that's cool. But you don't, but you can only pick. I believe one or two weapons at most. Oh no! I, yeah, I remember seeing that on. Uh, I was watching somebody stream it. Yeah, I remember them seeing that. It's like a challenge mode, right? Yeah. It reminds me of those. Um, I wonder if you, if you probably played them. The, uh, the the New Year's the New Year's Mega Man ROM hacks. Oh yeah. I think there's one where you fight. Uh, fight uh, one of the bosses multiple times. Or two bosses. I think it's Storm Eagle and uh, Storm Owl from X4. Hmm. I mean, I've seen that particular New Year's one. Just the classics so far. And huh. thank you, Berg, for the $5 for highlight. Oh, that is fun! <laughs> <laughs> so now Hydlight is in a $2.50 lead. Oh, please. <laughs> There's only one thing we haven't considered yet for the donations. What happens if it ends in a tie? <laughs> that would be quite the interesting thing. to see beta very beta black zero yep wonder if there's a I wonder if there's an x4 donation incentive for that oh yeah I wonder I didn't even think about that until just now I know I know Kavik's playing a zero I know he I know he likes uh, playing zero way more than X yeah, I wonder if there's a, a um, wonder. I wonder if he's gonna use Black Zero or not. I'd like to see it personally. It's been a long time. Yeah, I always like playing uh, like the the black armor. It just looks super cool. Yeah. And you have like the uh, the shadows that follow you when you dash are purple. I really like how that looks. I forgot all about the shadows. It's been that long. Yeah. Wow, Kevin, why are you so against it? $5,000! <laughs> Seems reasonable. Thank you, Blurge, for another $5 towards uh, Final Fantasy. That code is hard to put in. Isn't it like LLRRRR -R 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 or something like that? Oh, I wish I could remember. <laughs> I, I thought it was something simpler than that, but it's been so long. I, I think, I know on the PlayStation, it's like two of one button and then nine of the other. It's just like, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I can't imagine what they, I don't know what they did. For when I, uh, when I originally had X4, uh, I had it for uh, the Sega Saturn. But I didn't like playing it with the Saturn controller.
Yep, so now Final Fantasy is in a, uh, in a two dollar fifty cent lead. <laughs> Nah, man, I don't like where the buttons are. Not for Mega Man, not for me. Yo, GG. Thank you. You'll be finished with X3 far longer before the estimate and me, so we can feel free to go for a text for act when you're done. No, Ant, I don't do that. Use the shoulder buttons to dash, or you get sent to jail. That's the law. When I become president of the world, I will outlaw shoulder <laughs> dashing. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to pull? So you want to pull a Sigma? Yep. <laughs> That's it. I'm Sigma. Question, Kavik. Why aren't you playing X4 on the Knight's control? Hmm. Kongma or Sig Cakes? <laughs> 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 I gotta admit, Sig Cakes does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> getting a little spicy. <laughs> I think I was at an event. I was asking someone how how possible it was to to play knights without that special controller. Yeah, I think it just adds like the uh, analog stick. It's not really a stick, it's like a weird pad. It's really similar to the Dreamcast controller. Oh, I accidentally... Uh, did I? No, okay. I accidentally killed Bite with his weapon. But I was trying Ooh. to remember, I was like, I didn't kill Bit with his weapon too, right? But no, I did. I don't want to fight that that weird Yeah, like... no no <laughs> one wants to fight that. I don't wish that on anyone. <laughs> I'm so glad that's not a part of anything one hundred percent art me. Yeah. Well, I'm glad the intro boss does look like menacing twos wise. It still could have been better. Yeah.
What exactly was Chris? Christmas nights. Was it just like one, like a one stage kind of demo disc or something? Yeah, I remember having Christmas nights. Uh oh, my internet's starting to get a little choppy, but I'm back. Toad has been listening to Aquatic Ambience for the last, like, 100 hours. Hmm. I think most people for X3 start out with Blizzard Buffalo. I'm just not used to trying to... I'm not used to avoiding his attack. Ah, uh, yeah. When he dashes, so I have to take the very awkward path of masters and start with. Get yeah, which one this is? Uh, catfish. Yeah. I always, uh, ever since I was a kid, I've always done tunnel rhino first. Just the music alone probably just. Just um, play the stage, right? Yeah, that, that music's really good too. I never understand why in Crush Corp and um, Catfish there's a small room where all you do is destroy the whatever that's supposed to be, and it oh. just changes the layout completely. Yeah. I mean, is the is the programmers does the programmer did the programmers think that if we if we didn't turn it over, would that mean the boss room would be in a different direction or even upside down? Hmm. Could there be gravity issues even before dealing with Vito? Imagination. Did they get rid of the charge of shots in this game? Oh, uh, yeah, oh, wow. if you dash, yeah, you don't get any extra damage from dashing. Ah. Uh, yeah. I was just now thinking about doing that, but I'm really now only to find out it doesn't work. Oh, well. Meanwhile, if Catfish grabs you at least once, it, it's much more of a struggle to get out of it than, than, um, than Centipede's um, tail. Yeah. How many stages are you in now? Uh, I'm finishing up Catfish, and then I have Crawfish left. And then you have to go search out the last few items you need for a hunt. Yeah, I have to go to um, Gravity Beetle, and then... Uh, um, 
Rhino, I think, is the only other one. No, we did uh, we did X one hundred percent. We did X two hundred percent. I'm doing X three hundred percent. Infinite Mysteries doing X three any percent. Although I I won't come anywhere close to finishing by the time Kong is done. We're just having fun playing some X games that we love. Yeah. Damn, Toad. Oh, what am I doing? I feel like it takes so long just to navigate these first couple of stages before you get access to at least one upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, that stages be... seem pretty long in X3. So much backtracking has to be done, even more so than one and two. Thank goodness you don't have to fight Neon Tiger for Buster. Yeah. yeah. Like, at least at some point, it seems like the majority of Mavericks can be hit. Neon Tiger just denies everything you do. deal with the boring bit right yeah. yeah those fights those used fights. to give me such a hard time when i was a kid not so much uh bite but the bit one man that used to yeah Ugh. especially when it when either the two rings show up or the two flames and the and the ring yeah yeah Vile is dead. Uh, 
hope I'm going to the right stage third. I have a feeling I didn't. I think I was supposed to do, for my order, Beetle is fourth. Fire wouldn't be so bad if it a figure, a figure eight arc. Yeah. Because it's just like Holmes right in on you. And the rings that hold you in place, man. He's just. He's, he's annoying. Very. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna try and do this quick kill on Crush Crawfish. This is my favorite kill in the whole game. In the whole series, even. There it is. <laughs> Very nice. You're on the refights? Oh no, that's uh, that's my last boss though. So I gotta go grab the heart tank in Beetle. And the uh, heart tank and helmet in Rhino. And then I'm on, I'm on to the Sigma stages. This is the right. I was worried that I'd rather not be able to send these map Mavericks without it. for that energy and the life at the elevators. Oh yeah, that's oh, actually yeah. nice to heal up. I just wish the elevator wasn't so slow. Yeah. <laughs> I would not want to fight Gravity Beetle with... Yeah, I used to fight him with regular back in the day, and it was, it was kind of tough. It's a lot easier with uh, his weakness. All he does is jump. <laughs> I 
I don't even know what the because I never I never let get a chance to form. I don't even know what the what the spear does once it's once oh. it's fully open. Oh yeah, like the big black hole. I think it like sucks you towards it when you jump, and if you hit it, it does like a ton of damage. Hmm. As if that as if X doesn't already take a ton, even with armor. Yeah. It all it almost makes low percent X four semi tolerable. Uh, Mr. Energy, I'm not exactly sure how the quick kill works. I just, I just seen it, so I do it. Oh, if you didn't see it, uh, you'll see it here in the refights in just a little bit. Honestly, cooler when they when they announced when X3 was in development. I was honestly wondering whether or not Capcom was going to follow that route. But imagine imagine the stiff animation they would have for a hurricane kick. I would have liked the sonic boom. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but you hit crush uh, you hit crawfish with the uh, with the catfish weapon, the lightning. And then you charge up and you hit the ground while brush, while crawfish is in his iframes, and it uh it like kills him. That's surprising. The 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 C four ship on um, boss usually. Isn't that hard to get to at least make it change form? Yeah, the second move is the charge thunder. Now we got the gold armor. I, I love I love the look of the. It's so much trouble to get. <laughs> and now we have what's the name of this boss? Like God Car Machine O Inery. It's got a weird name. Wow. I should have been done with this stage by now. I don't know why board ship boss is, is killing me. Oh yeah, the uh, the mini yeah the, the mini bus. Normally it doesn't normally it doesn't give me that many problem. I don't know if that's a legacy. I mean not legacy. I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's an X collection thing. Especially because the lag doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. But I kind of, kind of, kind of wonder if code, if the code was changed. But this boss is actually, this mini boss is actually hitting me when I don't, when I'm not expecting it.
And uh, just for everybody in chat who's hanging out, stay tuned after Mega Man X4. We have a game coming up, Star 99, that's made by our, our, our RGL staff member, Shema. It's a really I cool game. And, and I, I, oh, goodness, I am getting bodied by this dragonfly. Okay, we got him. It's going to be a really cool deal, and uh, I, I think y'all are going to really like it. Alright, so now we're going to get Zero Saber, and we're going to be strong. As if, as if X isn't already pretty strong with yeah. the line and the gold armor. The zero saver puts him in a complete never class by himself. Yeah, the, the uh, gold armor and then the zero saver make a little bit of overkill. Yeah, there you go. Shemma's got the link there. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> uh, question over. I don't know if you got a chance to see Gato Rovato last night. Sure, that's not a relative of Kiki. I looked over because I saw some notifications in Discord and I fell down the elevator. <laughs> mm. oh, I'm glad you was able to, to see a bit of the game. faster by like damage boosting and up dashing all that but I know I'd end up dying on the spikes so <laughs> yeah it, it looks nice if you can pull it off but it's just not worth it I was hoping Bite would show up much earlier. The sooner he gets out of the way, the better. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never understand why the lights turn out in a portion of Frozen Buffalo stage. Oh, yeah, I think it's if you beat... It's if you beat somebody, the lights are out there. Hmm. I can't remember exactly who it is. I 
Like, I never really thought about it before now. Did they actually replicate the, the thing that I liked about X1? Which uh, bosses have you beaten so far? Uh, I'm only on, on, the, on the fifth, my fifth order of stage, um, Buffalo. Wondering who it is, because I know in uh, like in Gravity Beetle stage, yeah, yeah Gravity is done, Catfish. Oh, I think it's Catfish. That would make sense because it's electrical, although it powers out. Wait, not Catfish, sorry. Uh... Oh, you did Crawfish? No. Yeah, Crawfish. Wait, the one wait, the one with the pincer, but not the one in the electric area. Yeah. I always, for some reason, I always get those. I start off with the with the stage that has the. Well, it looks like it's a oil refinery construction zone. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, game. I was barely able to see anything because oh. of the snow. And for I some reason, this is sniping me the instant <laughs> I was trying to get trying to get the E tank. Sub tank, I meant. Sigma Sirens should be gone again. I'm going as fast as I can, um, Sigma. You don't you don't need to give me a ticket every hour. <laughs> Days I'm gonna have to get used to fighting Buffalo with just making a turn towards the wall. Oh, yeah, doing the jumps. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of the of just how much health loss happens. Nice. Like if the stages didn't seem so long or if X didn't take two thirds health loss per hit, <laughs> I wouldn't mind it so much. 
I mean, over sync for X2 is troublesome enough, but not as troublesome as this. I think they could have done a lot more with the toxic C4 stage. Yeah, I, I like the the climbing part here. It's kind of fun, but uh, maybe the underwater part could have been a little longer because it's really short. Which stage? Uh, in toxic seahorse. Yeah. Where you're you're only underwater for like two seconds. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're going to do the crawfish quick kill again. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Aww. All right, we'll try it again. Oh my, I missed again. There we go. Well, I didn't do it perfectly, but we still got a little bit. <laughs> Like bite definitely wants to force this into a green roller. Yep. I don't know why I'm having a hard time avoiding that magnetic item he's using. Oh yeah, the one he throws against the wall. I can see a game over happening if I slip off of the wall once more. And even if I do beat bite, I'm definitely going to need some. Doppler is dead. Now yeah, for probably the worst, the worst, sig the the worst Sigma ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't like Kaiser Body Sigma. What what does what does this, what does this them to make the hitbox so <laughs> so small? Hmm. Almost forgot those spikes there. Hi, game. I would like a large. In oh, well. I guess not. This weird squid launch octopus cousin, long distance cousin. <laughs> Might force a game over though. Yep.
I'm willing to bet one of the enemies are gonna snipe me the instant I show up. Sigma's first form. Oh, the, uh, yeah, fighting the, uh, trying to hit his head. Ah. Uh, now we just gotta climb up the lava. GG. GG for me. GG pancakes. Oh, that is lava. I should have surfed the lava. I forgot it was RG lava. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that. I knew, I knew these games were missing stink luck of it. Yeah, Mr. Energy, yeah, that's, they have that once you uh, get the gold armor, it has that. But, um, fortunately, like, you shoot a shot, then you shoot a shot, and then you get the sword. But if you don't use the sword, like, within a few seconds, then it resets back to the first charge shot. And I usually mess it up, so I, I never I never mess with it. sure how much I'll be able to get done in the next 30 minutes even to finish him. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you keep rolling. They can uh, hear you. I'm going to step away and uh, use the restroom real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that then. Yo, thanks for the GG's. That was a fun race. Yeah, it's always fun to play some Mega Man X. Okay. And it looks like we're ready for a Mega Man 